Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Welcome to Hectanuka One. Please share the links to my videos on your social media sites and please subscribe. I'm going to work with Red Heart Comfort Yarn or Super Saver, it's the same thing, and a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. To make this cardigan, you're going to make two scarves. And then you'll fold them in half and sew up the back seam, but don't sew all the way up. Leave this little space here. And then sew the side seam. So I'm going to get started and show you how to do this pattern. And I'm going to start with a foundation chain. And here are the number of chain stitches for all the sizes. And I'm just going to work a small section to show you how it goes. And I'm going to double crochet in the third stitch from the hook and in each stitch all the way across the row. So double crochet in each stitch all the way across the row. Okay, I've double crocheted in each stitch across the row, and that would be this first row. So now I'm going to make the first row of this grid. I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, and that takes the place of the first double crochet and a chain one space. I'm going to skip the next stitch, and I'm going to double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next chain one, skip, double crochet, like that, and I'm going to work all the way across my row. Okay, and that's how that row will look, and that is this section. So now I'm going to work this next row of grid, and I'll just repeat these three rows over and over. So for the next row, I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, and I'm going to double crochet in the first double crochet. Now I'm going to chain one. I'm going to go to the next double crochet and make a double crochet. Chain one, double crochet in the next double crochet. Chain one, double crochet in the next double crochet. And that's how that looks. And I'm going to work across the row. And I worked across the row and the last stitch will be in the second stitch of that first chain three because the chain three took the place of a double crochet and a chain one space and now I'm going to chain two and turn and I'm going to make a double crochet in the grid and I'm going to make a double crochet in the double crochet so double crochet in the chain one space double crochet in the double crochet. And I'm going to continue that across the row. And then the repeat for the remainder of the sweater is going to be these three rows. This one, this one, and this one. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this row. Okay, I worked across the row. At the end of the row, my last double crochet was in the second chain of that turning chain three. And there's how that looks. A row of double crochet, two grids, double crochet. So you have a double crochet, two grids, double crochet. And then you're just going to continue to repeat that. These two grids, the double crochet, the two grids, double crochet. And you're going to do this for as many times as specified on the pattern. And when you're finished making your two sections, this is what you'll have. You'll have two long scarves. And you're going to fold those over. And that will be the shoulders. And then you'll sew up the back seam. Sew up the two side seams. 
and your sweater will be finished. And to sew your back seam, you'll just bring the two sides together. A couple of extra stitches here to make sure that it's good and sturdy. And then you match the stitches, so I'm just holding them so that my stitches are all together like that. And I'm going to go underneath both of the loops, and I'm going to sew the back seam, going through each stitch. Like that. And you'll have a pretty much invisible seam. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed seeing how easy it is to make this style of relaxed cardigan sweater. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.